So dear student, we shall continue to solve the problems of exercise 5.1 of chapter triangles of class 9th mathematics. So I am going to read out the problem. AB is a line segment and P is the midpoint. AB is a line segment and P is the midpoint of AB. D and E are the points on the same side of AB. Same side means above. Above the line segment. AB such that angle BAD is equal to angle AB. So you have to understand here the point D and E are on the same side of line segment AB satisfying that equality of the angles that is which are the angles equal angle BAD equal to angle ABE. So they are on the same side of the line segment AB such that angle BAD is equal to angle ABE. And also given EP angle EPA is equal to DPB. Angle EPA is equal to angle DPB. Now we have to prove triangle DAP. Triangle DAP is congruent to triangle E. P E B P triangle D A P is congruent to triangle E B P and line segment A D is equal to line segment B. So you have to prove this. That is triangle D A P is congruent to triangle E B P and line segment A D is equal to B. So let us write what is given in the problem. That becomes the data part. In the figure given figure. AP is equal to PB because P is the midpoint of line segment AB. AP is equal to PB. Then angle PAD. Angle P that is angle PAD is equal to angle PB. You may uh, so ask me why I have written angle PAD is equal to angle PB. So dear student you uh, read this problem. They have given angle BAD. Angle BAD is equal to angle ABE. Instead of writing angle BAD, I will write angle PAD. That means value of angle A is not going to change. Instead of writing angle ABE, I am going to write angle P PBE. So that the value of angle B is not going to change. And also why I have written PAD is equal to PBA because I have to prove angle DAP is equal to angle I have to prove triangle DAP is congruent to triangle EBP. So before proving that I have to prove the two corresponding angles of these two triangles are equal. So therefore I am writing here angle PAD is equal to angle PBE because they form the part of the triangle DAP and EBP. And also given Angle AP is equal to angle BPD. Angle APE is equal to angle BPD. Now what we have to prove? Triangle DAP is congruent to triangle EBP. That is DAP. Triangle DAP is congruent to triangle EBP. Second part A. D is equal to B line segment equal. We have to prove that. So dear children. So we have to prove triangle DAP is congruent to triangle EBP. But here I want to have angle APD of triangle APD. And I want to have angle EPB of triangle EPB. So what you have to do? Then I have to add angle, common angle EPD to angle APE and also I have to add the same angle that is EPD to angle BPD. So then I am going to get angle APD and angle BPE. So this is what I have to do in the proof part. Before doing that, so let me write what is given. AP is equal to PB. Given PAD is equal to PBA, PAD is equal to PBE, 
E P A D angle P A D is equal to angle P B A given. That becomes the angle. Then A P A P angle A P is equal to angle B P D. So if you observe keenly, so A P is out. See the part of the angle A P D, not a full angle A P D. It is a part of the angle A P is a part of the angle A P D. And also you see here BPD is a part of angle EPB. So we have to we want to get the angle EAPD and also angle BPE. So what we have to do that is possible by adding the common angle EPD to angle APE and angle BPD. What is going to happen if you do? So we are going to get the Angle APD and we are going to get angle APE. So therefore, I am adding this angle. Adding angle APD to both the sides of the equation one because I am calling this as equation one. So what we are going to get? Angle APE plus angle APD is equal to angle BPD plus angle APD. Angle APE plus angle APD. See angle APE. Plus angle EPD. If we add two angles, APE and EPD, we are going to get angle EPD. So that is the left hand side of the equation. Then if we add angle BPD to angle EPD, if we add angle BPD to angle EPD, so we get B angle BPE. So this is what I have written. So this becomes angle part. Now, dear children, so you get here two triangles. That is angle triangle DAP and triangle EBP. So, in triangle, these two triangles, AP is equal to PB. So, corresponding sides, PAD angle PAD is equal to angle PBA. Corresponding angles. Then angle APD is equal to angle PB corresponding angles. You find here two angles and included side of this triangle are equal to corresponding two angles and included angle of this triangle. That means angle AP and included side AP of triangle DAP are equal to the corresponding angles angle PB and included side PB of triangle. B, E, B, P, E, B, P. Then these triangles are a congruent. So therefore, a triangle D, A, P is congruent to triangle E, B, P. So side, angle, 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 side, angle. So what is the reason? A, S, A, congruence rule. When the two triangles are equal, corresponding parts must be. So dear children, observe carefully here. Two angles, angle A, angle P, and included side AP of triangle DAP are equal to the corresponding angles, angle P, angle B, and included PB of triangle EPB. So they are equal. That means two triangles are congruent. So therefore, triangle DAP is congruent to triangle. EPB. When two triangles are congruent, corresponding parts must be equal. The parts can be sides or parts can be uh, angles. But we are focusing on only the required part. So required part is here sides. Therefore, AD line segment AD is equal to line segment BE. So I have written here AD is equal to BE. What is the reason? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Hence, it is approved. Now having understood uh, how to prove the seventh problem, so let us move to the eighth problem. In right triangle, triangle ABC, they are given right triangle, triangle ABC, right triangle that C. Right angle triangle ABC, right angle at C. M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. Once again, I am going to read out. In right angle triangle 
A, B, C, right angled at point C. M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. What do you mean by hypotenuse? A line segment opposite to the right angle in a right angle triangle, which is the side opposite angle, a tri right angle ACB AB. So this is known as hypotenuse. What do you call hypotenuse? Now C is joined to M, that is the midpoint of hypotenuse. A B and produced to a point D. How it is produced? So C is joined to M and produced to point D such that DM is equal to CM. So C is joined to point M on the hypotenuse AB and produced up to point D such that CM is equal to MD. In such a way it is produced from point M up to D. Then point D is joined to point B. So we will get this required a complete diagram. What we have to show? Triangle AMC. Triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. We have to prove triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. Then we have to prove triangle DBC is a right angle. Right angle means 90 degree. Second part also we have to prove. Third, triangle DBC. Triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. This is also we have to prove. Then we have to prove CM is equal to half of AB. CM is equal to half of AB. This also we have to prove. Now, data. So what is described? I am going to write that. In a right angle triangle ABC right angle at C M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB C point C is joined to point M on the hypotenuse AB and produce up to point D such that DM is equal to CM the point D is joined to point B this is the description of the problem so observe carefully here AM is equal to BM because M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. We have got that. Then DM is equal to CM because when we have produced the line from point M to D, so we are produced in such a way that CM is equal to MD. This can be written in a data part CM is equal to DM. So I have written two parts here. Now what we have to prove? Triangle AMC is equal to BMD. Triangle AMC is equal to triangle BMD. Then second, what we have to prove? Tri that is triangle, that is angle DBC is equal to 90 degree or right angle. Third one is triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. Then fourth, CM is equal to half of AB. So three are the four things we have to prove. This is what I have written. Triangle AMC is equal to triangle BMD. Angle DBC is equal to 90 degree. Triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. CM is equal to half of AB. Now let us go to the proof part. In triangle AMC, triangle AMC and BMD. So BMD in triangle AMC and BMD. AM is equal to BM is given in the data part. M is the midpoint of hypotenuse AB. So it is given. It is given. 
एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम ट्रैंगल एम सी एंड बी एम डी एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम नौ सी एम इज इक्वल टू डी एम इट इज आलो गिवन देन एंगल एम सी इज इक्वल टू बी एम डी एंगल एम सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी एम डी वाइन दिस टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल देर वर्टिकली opposite angles you can see line ab and line dc are intersecting at a point m therefore vertically opposite angles are equal so you are getting two pairs of that is two sides of an included angle of one triangles are equal to the corresponding two sides and included angle of the other triangle you can see dear children here here uh that is angle b m d that is equal to angle b m c b m you can see here angle b a m c is equal to angle b m d once again repeat angle a m c is equal to angle BMD. So you find angle. Then you side see the sides. This side is equal to this side, and this side is equal to this side. That means two sides and included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and included angle of the other triangle. That means triangle A. AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. Triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. So SAS congruence rule. The reason is SAS congruence rule. When two triangles are congruent, corresponding parts are equal. Which are the corresponding parts? I am taking required corresponding part. AC is equal to. AC is equal to BD. I am taking only the required part. Why I am taking? I have not taken another part. It is not necessary. You will understand why I have taken the required part. AC is equal to BD. You are going to understand. Or BD is equal to AC. Now, so first part already proved. AMC is uh, triangle. AMC is congruent to triangle. BMD is proved. Now. Good. Let us go to the second part. That is, we have to prove that is DBC is a right angle. Triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. Already proved in first part. Therefore, ACM, ACM is equal to BDM. So ACM is equal to BDM. These two angles are. Equal. I written here. So, what type of angles are these? Alternate angles are also CPCT, CPCT and alternate interior. Since alternate interior angles are equal, that is, BDM angle is equal to angle ACM. That is alternate angles being equal, and also CPCT. So we can say the lines BD and lines CA are parallel. The two lines are parallel. Now AC is parallel to DB or BD, and there is a transversal BC. We can say transversal BC. This these two sides are parallel. That is DB is parallel to AC, and BC is a Transversal, so you can see the transversal. There is a BC cutting the parallel lines BD and AC at point B and C. So when two lines are parallel, the angles, interior angles, some of the interior angles, that is angle DBC and angle ACB, is equal to one eighty degree. Some of the angles, same side of the Interior angles are supplementary. You have learnt in the theorem that is sum of the interior same side of the same side of the 
parallel same side of the transversus is supplementary that is 180 degree that is uh, uh, written here sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversus interior angle not interior that is that is sum of the interior angles on the same side of the transversus now that is over now dbc plus acb acb is equal to 90 degree it is uh, given in the data acb is equal to 90 degree plus equal to 180 degree angle dbc plus 90 degree is equal to 180 degree now transpose 90 degree to the right hand side of the equation therefore dbc is equal to 180 minus 90 degree therefore dbc is equal to 90 degree so we have proved dbc is a right angle second part also over now third part triangle dbc is congruent to triangle acb now in triangle dbc and triangle acb now let us focus angle dbc is equal to acb is equal to 90 degree angle dbc is equal to angle acb is equal to 90 degree it is proved the two angles are equal to 90 degree it is proved here see angle dbc is equal to 90 degree angle acb is equal to 90 degree already given so given and proved angle dbc is equal to acb is equal to 90 degree is the reason is given and proved then bc is equal to bc common side then ac is equal to bd ac is equal to bd so why ac is equal to bd when these two triangles are equal we already proved that ac is equal to bd see here i earlier told why are written ac is equal to bd while proving triangles amc congruent to bmd I, So I have taken this as CPCT. This is because the proved part at this stage. See, AC is equal to BD proved. So therefore, triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. DBC is congruent to triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. What is the reason? SAS congruence rule. So two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides and one included angle of the other triangle. That that is. you can see two sides bd is equal to ca bc is equal to bc angle dbc is equal to angle dcb then the two triangles are equal what is the reason sas congruence rule so i have proved the third part also now after proving the third part we have to go for the fourth part there Now you can focus on this. And third part already proved. Triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB already proved in third part. So DC is equal to AB. Therefore DC is equal to AB. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles here corresponding parts become is nothing but the corresponding sides. I can write DC is equal to CM plus MD. DC is CM plus MD because when the line was extended from point M to D, it was extended produced from point M to D in such a way that DM is equal to CM. Therefore, DC will be equal to CM plus MD. That is equal to AB. So in in the place of MD, I am going to write CM because CM is equal to MD. Therefore, MD can be written as CM. So I write in the place of MD CM because MD and CM are equal by data. CM is equal to MD. I write MD as CM. CM plus CM is equal to AB. CM plus CM is equal to two CM. So two CM is equal to AB. Therefore CM is equal to half of AB. So what we have to prove according to the fourth part, CM is equal to half of AB. So dear children, we have proved triangle AMC is equal to triangle BMD. triangle dbc uh, that is angle dbc is right angle right angle is dbc is equal to angle, angle dbc will 90 degree we have proved triangle dbc is congruent to triangle acb and line segment cm is equal to half of ab so i am to focus on the point i have proved here
the first part so you can see first part triangle amc is equal to triangle bmd proved then second part angle dbc is equal to 90 degree then the third part triangle dbc is congruent to triangle acb and the last part cm is equal to half of ab dear children i hope uh, you have understood how we have proved the 7th and 8th uh, problems you once again uh, go through the proof part of this problems <laughs>